Hi everybody, I'm Tony E from Network Collective, and this is part three of our EVNG and Zero Tier Tips and Tricks tutorial series. In this video, I'm going to show you how leveraging Zero Tier, a layer two mesh VPN service, will allow you to directly connect to your lab images in EVNG hosted in Google Cloud. This means you'll get to use all of the tools from your local workstation and connect to your images as if they were on your local LAN, and we are going to do all this in under five minutes. Now feel free to pause this video at any time, but I'm just going to walk through the process. First, since we're using Zero Tier, you'll need to start by registering for an account. This is a really quick registration process. They only want your first and last name, email address, and you create your own password. Once you click register, they will email you an account verification link. Once your account is activated, we're going to log into Zero Tier and create a network. It only takes a single click to create a network using the default settings. It couldn't be easier. Next, we'll download the clients for our endpoints. In this case, I'm using Windows 10, and of course our other endpoint is the EVNG server in Google Cloud. And the simplest way to install Zero Tier is by running the simple bash one-liner they provide. This is not the most secure option, but it is the simplest to get up and running. Now, joining the clients to the network couldn't be easier. On the Windows client, just right-click the Zero Tier icon in the system tray and choose Join Network. Enter your network's ID from the Zero Tier Management Console and click Join. Now to join our EVNG server, simply hop into a shell, assume root, and invoke the Zero Tier CLI program with the Join command. Again, here you'll provide the same 16-digit network ID. If you get a 200 response, you're all good to go. Now let's open up the Zero Tier Management Console and authorize our two nodes to be on our network. Now if you only wanted to connect to the EVNG server directly and securely, then now you're done. But I want to show you how to take this even a step further. And let's not only connect to our EVNG server, but let's also connect directly to our images so that we can do things like open up the management web GUI for an image, transfer files to our images file system, or run automation scripts that use native SSH to configure or pull statistics from our devices. This is done in the zero tier management console by adding a managed route. To do this, we need to know the management subnet you set aside from part two in our video series. And we need to know the zero tier node IP address of the EVNG server as well. We'll use this as our next hop address. Once you have that complete, now we're ready to start connecting directly to our lab images in EVNG running in Google Cloud. Now, as a bonus, after you test and verify you're able to access EVNG and your images over the zero tier network, it's a good idea to use the firewall feature of Google Cloud and deny all ingress connections. Since all your traffic will be tunneled and zero tier uses UDP hole punching, we only need to allow egress or outbound traffic from EVNG out to the internet. This will help keep your EVNG lab server secure from remote access. And remember, if you mess anything up and can no longer reach your EVNG server over the zero tier network, you can always use the Google Cloud Console and SSH securely to your VM to change or modify any settings. Labbing with EVNG using zero tier makes the labbing experience so much better and much more natural. Well, that's it. That's all it takes to leverage zero tier and build a layer two mesh VPN between our workstation and our EVNG server in Google Cloud. And this allows us to route through that tunnel to a management subnet so we can connect directly to our lab images. This is a simple process. It has taken less than five minutes. And I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you did, subscribe to our channel, like this video, Thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you had fun. I'm Tony E at Show IP Interface Brief on Twitter, and I'll see you next time.